What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. So in the last episode we built the, well we started building the Neptune rocket and we are going to finish it in this episode and we might even, hmm, we might launch off. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But hey, if you guys enjoy, definitely leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So I think you already have everything I need. I do indeed. Now I believe we have the fuel, uh, the fuel thrusters, whatever, and then we have the look, the cab or capsule or the whatever it's called, the nose. I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But uh, but yeah. So this thing's absolutely massive, and I love it. I absolutely love it. This structure is so cool. I kind of wish you could build like. I wish there was like prefabs like this, like, oh, you want a research facility? Like you could build a research facility and like there's doors and everything. You walk in everything's like everything's already built. I think that could be kind of cool. Uh, oh, the cockpit, the cockpit, uh, Cyclops shield generator, plastic link, enamel glass and computer chip. Wow. These are all super easy. These are all like way easy. All right. So a shield generator for this guy. Let's see what that is. I believe that is, I mean, we could just pop it off of this guy for now, but that means we're going to use it, uh, but I don't know that we're going to be using this a whole lot anymore. Uh, shield generator, you know what, let's just, we'll just, we'll steal the one from this first, and we can always build another one if we need another one, right? Absolutely. So, boom, shield generator right there, and then we needed a computer chip enameled glass and a plasteel ingot not bad at all um i am like out of ion batteries though because that did take ion batteries do i not have any more lithium either yeah it doesn't look like i have any more lithium because i need it for plasteel ingot actually we do need you for the enameled glass and we're gonna need oh yes okay boom good lithium <laughs> i was a little worried I was like, oh no, we're not going to have it. There's a power cell right there. Interesting. Huh, funny how uh, funny how you lose things when they're not organized, right? I know! And then enameled glass. How much did, How much was it? Oh, it's just one enameled glass. That's it? Wow, that's like super duper cheap. Super duper cheap. And we're going to need some gold. We're going to need some copper. And I think we have... Oh, I think we're going to need silver too. Grab some of that. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see if we have everything. Um, hopefully we do. Alrighty, and just like that, we actually have everything we need. It was super easy, super fantastic. I'm really glad that I took the time and harvested all those resources before we left the uh, Lost River because that's been super handy. Look at me run, it's so funny. It's hilarious. It's just hilarious. Now, I believe this is the last thing. I believe. Uh, oh, you know what? You actually have to go, I think you have to go up in the cockpit and actually like activate some things, so. I don't know. You can't really see it from down here. We could go up the gantry and take a look at it, but I want to wait and make sure there's nothing else we need here. And again, I want to color this thing. I'm almost positive you can. I could be completely wrong, though. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Are you guys done? Oh. Neptune 1 rocket online. Oh, ho, ho. yes. And we can actually change the color, too. All right, let's do... Some red. Um, we'll do some black stripes. Actually, we'll do a black and a white stripe. The name will be that. And um, Neptune launch platform. Oh, ho, look at that. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. It's such a cool looking rocket. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the innards. Oh, see, I'm like flying again. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that. It's like a bug or... Maybe I built it. Oh, that's right. We have an elevator. Activate elevator. Oh, <laughs> we have an elevator. I thought it was a rocket. I wish you could get an elevator inside your base. Oh, that'd be so cool to build. I wonder if we base built around this area. Can you build on that platform? Because if you could, then we could totally have, we could build a gantry and then not build a rocket. And then we could have like an elevator to the upper level. Oh my gosh, this is too cool. This is too cool. Auxiliary power unit, APU, as I call it. Uh, communications array. We have storage. For for what reason? I don't know. 
I don't I don't really know why they're storage, to be completely honest. Like unless they're gonna incorporate something and then you can like bring stuff with you to the next planet or something, you know, maybe the maybe the DLC you're gonna launch from here and you're gonna head towards the where the meeting point. Boot up the primary CPU. Um and then prepare time capsule. We haven't prepared time capsule yet. And actually, you have to do that. You have to do life support systems, time capsule, primary computer, <laughs> communications array, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power unit. So there's that one. And then this is activate life support system. So all the systems are here. And we just have to activate them. <laughs> that's that's all we have to do is activate the, uh, the systems and, and we're good to go. We can leave. However, there's a couple things I want to do before... Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of building real quick before we actually head out because there's a cutscene that if like I haven't even done it yet call elevator oh wait it's already here activate oh this is so cool this is so cool I love the elevator why I wish they would incorporate more big structures like that oh that'd be so cool okay next question can we build here no how, clo how close to this can we build? Curious. Okay, how about this? Can we not build that close? How far away do we have to be? What? Hold on. What about one of these? Uh. Okay, how about one of these? So that can go there. So it looks like we have to build up. Like straight up from underneath it. I don't know, it might it might work. It might work, we just can't build on that thing. Which is kind of a bummer. That's a really good platform to build a base on, I'm just saying. Like, if you could just build the platform again. Can you build more than one rocket? You know, I guess I never even thought about that. I'm sure you probably can, right? Let's see here. Climb. Is there something that's gonna only allow you to build one? No, it looks like you could definitely could build another one if you wanted to. Oh, that thing is sweet. I love it. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're actually going to kind of start the research facility a little bit. Kind of, sort of. And my plan for that is actually, I was thinking about it, and I'm thinking about possibly uh, live streaming the the uh the building of the research facility that we're gonna kind of build well live stream part of it you know collecting stuff you know all that fun stuff because you know it's, it's gonna take time so i might as well live stream it. so i might be live streaming that um actually if i did live stream it, it would have already happened so yeah uh if you guys missed out i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry oh my gosh with the fluid intake uh do i have any there we go are you happy now Anyways, okay, so we need to build some base stuff, but what we really need to build is the alien containment facility, alien containment room, this guy. Five glass and two titanium. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of glass. Wow. Uh, so I need, oh, I need ten, ten quartz. Lucky for us, I think I have it though. Um, we're gonna build that so we can get the cuttlefish hatched. Play with it a little bit because there is a scene if you leave it. Um, and it's kind of sad, so I just want to make sure that we at least get a we I mean I don't want to feel the feels, but we got to feel the feels a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so do I have titanium? I have some on the the uh, the the, the uh, I never renamed the bronze suit also I do realize that and I need to do so I actually need to go through the comments and see which name was the most liked one and Zemoth um, I saw, I, I think I saw a whole bunch of Z suits, but I'm going to wait. I want to check the comments picture. That is a thing before I do that, because I don't want to make people mad. Like, what if you, what if you had a name and it was voted like the highest and then I didn't pick it? That'd be super mean. That's like not nice of me to do. But uh, we're going to build this guy so we can get that going. And um, yeah, I kind of want, I really want to start the research facility kind of thing. So we might actually be doing it. Uh, I don't say we're going to do a complete base redesign. But we might do a complete base redesign. Nah, this will probably be the central hub still anyways. Well, I kind of really, I really wanted it next to the rocket to be honest, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I have a little bit of titanium and what I'm thinking about doing is we're gonna have areas. So, calorie intake recommended, okay, cool. We are gonna have, this is gonna be our central hub right here. 
you walk in or you come through here into here. One way is going to be one section, you know, there's going to be like sectors, if you will. So this is going to be research. Research and development sectors. Over here is probably going to be power and something. Well, power honestly should be in like a back room kind of thing. Maybe we'll have power distribution and stuff like that over there. And then food and water situation stuff over here, like living, because I have my habitat module right there anyways. So that could be a thing. But what I want to do is this is going to be like the research area. So, you're going to have your facility first, but I do want to have a four-way come off of here, like this. And then I also am going to need a multi-purpose room. Oh no! Stupid- oh wow, that gas actually hurts a lot! Like, a lot a lot! <laughs> okay. Um, so research facility, right here, it's going to be the first one. And then what I would like to do is I'd like to put one out here that way and then connect them. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then like each room's gonna have like, you know, some different stuffs in it. Some different stuff and things. Um, okay. Research facility. This way. Cool. Uh, what was my base? Pre like, hull strength? Oh, I didn't pay attention. Vital okay, well, yeah, we need to eat all this food. Good. Oh my gosh, yeah. See, we definitely need like a food area too. All right. So, right here, this is going to be the primary facility. We should be good for the... Oh, are you serious? I'm one titanium short? Oh, come on. All right, so, right here, actually... I kind of changed my mind a little bit. Because, uh... No, this is, this is a good spot for it. Okay. We'll put you here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to need glass for the hatch. You just have to be able to hatch on this thing because you can't get in. Um, provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna. Up close. Mm -hmm. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. <laughs> they may be studying me. How creepy is that? Do I seriously not have a single piece of quartz on here? I'll thank you. Alright, so this guy right here. Um, I think we're actually gonna put the access in the back that way it's not like glaring right at you right when you walk in because we're not going to hop in and out a whole heck of a lot um, but we will hop in here and actually hold on nope this this and we'll go ahead and drop you <gasps> oh he's so happy actually do i put you can i put you in here no okay i just have to drop it so we'll put you in there and you know what we'll throw a uh, we'll throw a gel sack in there let's go get some more let's go get some more fauna but, uh, so my plan for the research facility is I want to... You know what? We could keep the cuttlefish in there. That'd be awful, though. I'd feel really bad, like, leaving the cuttlefish in a tank the whole time. And it kind of stinks, too, because I really wish I would have got the cuttlefish before. It would have been more of the story and kind of hanging out with us the whole time. We would have had a little friend. Anyways. Sorry. Rambling. Rambling. Always rambling. Um... Yeah, more fauna. But I want to have a tank, I think, for each egg that you can collect. I think that could be cool. Give me one of these. We'll do some blood vine. We'll pick up a deep shroom. That'll work. That'll be good enough for now. Good enough for now. And we could always do pretty stuff in the tanks, too. Um, but I would like to have a tank for each, each specimen you can grab an egg for. And then for the ones that you can't grab an egg for... I'm thinking of uh, having just like aquariums because you can build just the, the regular like standard standing up aquarium and then having an aquarium of each type of fish as well that you can just like pick up and grab. So let's actually see what is the aquarium cost? Just two glass of titanium? That's pretty cheap. That's not too bad. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that guy's doing its thing. Uh, it does take a little while for him to hatch. It is so darn cute though. It's so cute. We could go grab the other ones. I know there's more. I know there's, I think there's four in the game total. We could go grab the other four. That could be fun. That could be fun. Let's try to do that. Let's try to grab the other ones real quick. And Well, I say real quick. Let's see how long it takes me to grab the other ones. Alrighty, so quick, quick Google search located me that there's, well, told me that there's five and the locations of them. So we're going to cover those really quick. Um, we're gonna make a couple cuts and stuff like that. I'm hoping that we can find all of them. 
Let's see, what did I need for the ion batteries? I'm going to upgrade the Seamoth. Wait, didn't I already do that? I already did that. What am I talking about? Uh, we already did that. I was going to upgrade the Seamoth because we're taking the Seamoth. Way faster, way easier, and it has defensive capabilities, so that will always be good. Also, I probably should bring some food and water. You know what? Really, we just need water. Food beings that we have the thermal blade, we can just cut up a fish and it cooks it instantly. Uh, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Let's at least get ourselves back. Okay, that looks good. All right. So the first one we are heading to is in the dunes. It's in a crater in the dunes. Um, but it's not in the impact crater. It's in, a, it's in a different type of crater. So I believe what we're doing is we're heading like... Uh, let's see. I think we're heading northwest. West, northwest. We're going to head north, north, west, northwest to the dunes. Now, we do have to be careful because there's a Reaper Leviathan at this one. So we're going to start with that one first. It's, it's going to be a rough one. But I'm going to start heading west this way. And once I get closer to the dunes, I will bring you guys back and let you know. And kind of show you where it's at, hopefully. All right. So I headed straight west for the most part. And we are currently in the dunes area. Now, you got to be careful. There are... There are, there's a, there's a replay by the next to us. I'm, it's, it's close. It is awfully close. Uh, you know, a thermal reactor for this guy would have been nice. Eh, no, not necessarily. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Let's go ahead and do a quick repair. Before we do anything else. Because I want to make sure this guy doesn't blow up. And we're going to do a quick save, because if this guy does blow up, oh, we are not. Um, mm, nope, we're going to keep it and do everything the same as we were. <laughs> like, okay. So, let's see if we can't find these dunes. Or, this this hole. There's there's two holes. There's an impact crater that has, like, a, a meteor-looking thing in it. And then there's also another crater. Uh... You know, I don't really know how deep I should go. I don't really know. It didn't. It nothing said the depth. Uh, this is so scary. That looks like it's a straight drop off. Okay, let's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking around. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is the area I believe that the other one is here. Let me get my some uh, some coordinates for you. That is not the right coordinates. Negative fourteen eighty four, negative three ninety ish, negative four hundred, and then positive four hundred. And I believe it's right there. Bingo, bango, bongo, I believe. You, sir, are the other little guy we are looking for. Aren't you so cute? <gasps> Isn't he so cute? He's just so adorable. Okay, so there's one. There's one. Now, let's get out of here. Because that was the sketchiest one by far. Um, we are going to head... I'm actually going to head back towards my base. Uh, to pick up something, I'm going to pick up an orange tablet because we're going to need an orange tablet for the next one. And there's also another one that's going to be what? One, two, three, that's four. And the fifth one, I got to remember where the fifth one's, fifth one's at. Alrighty, for the next one we're going to go after, it's going to be in the mushroom forest. The one that's actually semi-close by. You're going to be heading uh, east, which I wasn't heading. <laughs> it's a good thing I looked at that. Uh, the eastern one, it's, it's kind of the one that you're definitely like the first, probably the first one you're going to come to. You're not going to go to the one like... It's the other one that's a little bit further away, but um, I think this one's sitting on a like a stump like a it looks like a tree stump Honestly, it's kind of what it looks like or like a little hill or mound or something So we're gonna go try to find that guy and hopefully We can find it pretty quickly. I don't imagine there's gonna be that many like stumps area. Oh, there might be there might just be um, Wow, those things are getting so much closer now I'm going to guess it's going to be towards the back end of it, though. I think that is probably a good start. Kind of where it's ending. So, like, maybe over here-ish. I might have been over there. Hmm. All right. So, it's actually in a cave system. Under the trees. Whoa! What are you doing? It's in this cave system right here, I believe. I don't know. We'll see. Um... This doesn't look like the cave system that I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, okay, I think it's in here, though. It's it's in this cave system somewhere. One of these caves... I thought it was that opening right there. It must not be, though. 
must not be. I thought it was in that cave. Is there another cave system? No, it's got to be that one. This is the only cave system I see right here. Hmm. Oh! Okay. You know, we might not be able to take this guy in here. Uh, which is actually probably not a bad thing because this thing needs to be repaired immediately anyways. You know, I put a whole reinforcement module on here. It's not doing a whole lot of good. I still hit a fish and it happens. Like, bad things happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you head down in here. And I believe you just keep going. Boom, right there. Ha! <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's so cute! Uh... Neat. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Well, that's kind of cool. I never even knew this was here. To be completely honest, I don't think I've ever explored this. This is pretty neat. It still amazes me what this game has to offer that I haven't looked at. Um, okay, well, now where's, where's my... How do I... How do I get back? Uh, this way? Okay, where's my sea moth? Sea moth. Why do I not have the beacon for the sea moth? Let's make it like yellow. Sea moth. Uh. Am I just blind right now? Why can I not see the sea moth? Okay, I came through up here. Why can't I find my sea moth? Where? Ah! Uh, oh, it's right there. It's getting destroyed. Fantastic. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Okay, we gotta repair this guy. Oh my gosh! I was so worried. I was like, it's gonna be gone. I thought it was actually destroyed. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so there's that one. In the root system, you go down the cave, you can't take the seamoth in there, that's super unfortunate. So there's that one. Now, we are going to make our way towards the Lost River. We're going to head towards the Lost River. Um, the entrance of the Lost River, that's where I pretty much always go anyways. So we'll head that way, since it's right there, I know where it's at, kind of. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once we get back. Alrighty, so we are in the Lost River. This is the area that we came to the first few times for the nickel and all that stuff. The one with the main entrance that you can bring the Cyclops through. Kind of heading back over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to head down into the Lost River where the uh, that big skull is. And there are different branches that actually take you to different, like, uh, facilities. So we're going to try to find the other facilities that we haven't looked at yet. The first one that we already looked at, I don't believe that was the facility. I believe it was the, I believe it's one of the other ones. And I do believe it's also behind a gate, so you are going to need a tablet. I'm going to say it's an orange one. I'm going to say it's an orange one this time. So we're going to go try to find that. So there's that guy. <laughs> and that way took us the deep way, like deep down into uh, the, the uh, you know, where the, the queen and all that stuff was. But then we took that way, which took us to the other research facility. But now we're going to head this way, I believe. And we're going to see what's over here. Um, yeah, because we actually haven't been this way in this series. This is where I believe all the big, like the big skeletons and stuff are. I think. I think. Hey, look at we have another message. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, giant skeleton stuff here. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Yeah. Uh, because there's a gigantic, look at the size of that skeleton. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is huge. You know, I always, I never, like, I've played this up. I've played this enough and I've, I've seen these enough. And there's a ghost leviathan right there. That's fine. Um, but it still just amazes me, like, how massive these things actually are. Now, I don't know exactly where this research facility is. I think it... We're going through the mouth of this thing. Gosh, that's scary. Super sketchy. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say it's this way. It could have been. It might be that way up there. But I want to look back here and make sure it's not over here. 
All right, so I went off that way, nothing there. So now we're gonna head up here towards this opening right over here. This goes by right there. I don't want nothing to do with you. Okay, let's just let's just pretend. Let's just not look at it. It'll be fine. We're gonna go up here into this hole, and I think this is where that big thing is at. I believe it's up here, just a little ways. Yeah, this is looking promising because I remember all these like the big huge vines. So the walls in this area are all viney looking, where everything else looks like a cave. And this doesn't look so much like a cave. Now I believe we're actually gonna want to go. I think we're gonna want to go this way. I think we're. Gonna, I think there's an opening through. Through here. I think that yeah. I think this is the way we need to go. Um. I guess we'll find out here shortly. It looks promising. I see stuff. Yeah. There it is. Okay, and then there's that gate. I'm aware. Thank you. There's that gate <laughs> that we couldn't get into before because we needed a tablet. All right. Ooh, super lag. Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. Orange tablet. Shwink. Now is this water through here? It is. Okay. Thank you. I will. Goodness. Fluid intake, okay. Boom, look at this. So now we have this little area. Oh, we also have some ion cubes too. <gasps> there he is. There's the little cuttlefish egg. Oh, he's so cute. I will take these though. I mean, they're they're free. Uh, absolutely gonna take those. Okay. Is that a map loss river? I don't know. Um. Okay, what are these things? Should I scan all this stuff? I don't think so. I think we're good. Oh, ooh, hold on. <clears throat> Fauna reproductive data. Integrating new PDA data. I guess we should scan stuff while we're here. Um, I am getting a little hungry. Actually, we could just go ahead. Oh! I just ate that. Whoopsies! Sorry. Let's go ahead and scan all the stuff, and then we're gonna head back. Um, out of here. But we're actually stopping at the other mushroom forest now. <laughs> because there's one in each one, I, I believe. I believe there's like a cave system. And underneath of the trees and under it, in each one, there's a there's a little dude hanging out. So yeah, that's where this one's at. I believe this will actually take us out to semi close to the uh, mushroom forest. I think so. Um, yeah, this guy is pretty neat in here. I gotta say, it's actually kind of cool. But that's where this is at, and I believe we can actually head out. How did we? I feel like there's a way out. How did we get out here? Because we got here super easy one time. And but we came from which way did we come from? I want to say we came from this way. Yeah, 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 right here. Okay, perfect. So this opening right here takes us out back out into the uh, into the wild, I guess you could say. All right. So now we are in the western mushroom biome area. Western one. Now we're looking for a cave entrance under this guy as well, which I think is it's right. I can't ever remember. I get so confused when it comes to the mushroom forest because they all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. Um, but I know there's a cave entrance around. I don't think this is the tree. I think this is the smaller ones. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just worried that I'm going to starve. Honestly, that is my issue. But there is a big tree around here somewhere. We're looking for the big one, the big guy. Here we go, the big one, the gigantic tree. And I believe the last little cuttlefish we're looking for is in this cave system, I think. So let's go ahead and get this guy out. And let's see if we can't find it. Well, that's not gonna help us at all, is it? Oh, hey, ha, there he is. That was super easy. <laughs> I was like, uh, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, big tree. Go in the hole. Uh, go up here. And it's just chilling right here on this little rock deal. So that right there is all five cuttlefish. All five of them. Now we are going to throw them all into the containment facility thing. Hatch them all. I bet the other two are probably already hatched because I've been gone for quite a while now. Lost River. We're this way. I will. We're heading back right now. Okay. So let's get back to the base. Let's get some food. Let's get some fluids. And uh, let's pop these guys into their containment facilities. All right. We are back and we need some food. 
like a stat. Hopefully, luckily, I planted these guys before I left. Look at that. Perfect. Let's get our knife back out. That's the wrong button. This is the one I wanted. And that one. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we really need to get these, like, actually going. So, <gasps> look at There's two of them, and we have more. We have more. What's up, dudes? Oh, they're so darn cute, and we got three more already. We're gonna have all five of them in here. I don't know, I'm actually kind of tempted to let them all, like, hang out in here, but at the same time, I, I, I don't want them to. I've- oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've honestly never caught more than one. I only- I only ever get the one at the Degassi base, which is pretty much the one everybody gets, so... We didn't cover that one, but that one's kind of a given. If you have this facility, it's in the same place that you found this, uh... This giant alien containment thing. Um, but- oh, they're so cool! Okay, so I think we're gonna wait until all three of them hatch. And I believe this is about 20 minutes of in-game time, so... Uh, maybe we'll try to go and sleep for the night. It looks like our power is a dying, which is not good. Is it? It still has some stuff in there. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna see those hatch. Actually, let's see if we can't sleep and see if that speeds up anything. All right, we slept, and it looks like they are still all in their eggs except for these two. Oh, they're so cute! <gasps> they're so cute. Look at their big old buggy eyes when they're like little. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, I can't wait for them to come out. They look like little porky kind of guys. They're, <laughs> they're so cute. All right, so uh, we're going to wait. I'll wait till they hatch, bring you guys back, and then that's probably going to wrap up the episode. All righty, so we have all of them swimming around. They're so cute and happy. Look at, look at how happy they are. Let's get in here with them. What is up, my dudes? My five little friends. I did not know you could have so many of them. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. I love them. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's there's all five cuttlefish. I think those that's it. That's all of them in the game. There's there's no more. That is it. Um, yeah, oh, they're so cool. So, oh, what's up, dude? What is up, my friend? Now, what do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below. Do we set them free and let them float around our research base, or do we keep them all in here, where they're nice and safe for all eternity? See, I feel like it's wrong having them chambered up, because these are ones that have, like, these ones kind of, like, play with you and stuff, so, like, I feel like we should set them free. I wish they could just, like, come around the base, you know? But, I mean, we could let them outside, and hopefully they're all, they all stick around, but, oh, they are so cute! Oh, they're way too cute. Alrighty, guys. So, that is going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Next episode, we are going to uh, launch the rocket. We're going to launch the rocket. It's going to happen. It's going to be a thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you in the next one.